Hello children, so here in this video we will see the various cases of refraction at spherical surfaces. So this is case number 1. What are we doing? We are doing refraction at spherical surfaces. Refraction at spherical surfaces. So this is case number 1 in which we will find out the formula for refraction at convex surface when the ray goes from rarer to denser medium and the image formed is real. So we will do some rough work here. We will make a convex lens. Okay. So this is rarer, this is denser, this is rarer. So when we go from rarer to denser, as in the case, so we will strike against this refracting surface. So we will draw this refracting surface. This is the refracting surface. This side it will be glass and outside it will be, this is principal axis. So we can label properly. Let us do the necessary labeling. This is air and it is glass. Here it is mu1 which is 1. Refractive index of air is 1. Mu2 which is mu glass. Okay. So now the image formed is real. So we will write down that real image is formed on the other side of the ob object. Real image is formed. On other side and uh, what is the okay then we have order is OCI okay so we will see this is object where will be location of center of curvature which side circle is getting completed that side so center of curvature is this side and here you can take image. So this is objects ray. You can make it absolutely straight. Then this is your center of curvature's ray which will pass through this C. So this is your normal. The ray through C is normal. Okay. And the third ray is your image ray so this is your image wala ray you can make it like this so basically this is objects ray and it is going like images formed here real images formed here and the ray through c is your center of curvature wala ray which is normal now we will be labeling angle of incidence and angle of refraction so let us see the angle between incident ray and normal ray this green wala ray is angle of incidence green ray is angle of incidence and the angle between green ray that is normal ray or the ray through c and image is angle of refraction so i and r are clear both are brown now we will label alpha this is alpha with o with i it is beta and with c it is gamma if this is not clear we can see the angle with image is beta this is beta okay and this is gamma angle with c is this is gamma and we will drop a perpendicular like this this is M, this is P. M is a perpendicular. Okay, if you wish, you can label it as N. So, now our first job is to find out I and R in terms of alpha, beta and gamma. Okay, so you can see in this triangle, I is exterior angle. 
I is exterior angle of this triangle, this triangle which I have highlighted with blue. So, I is exterior angle. So, it will be sum of interior opposite angle that is alpha and this gamma. This is one relation. Now, I need R also. So, for that I will choose some other triangle. You can look here. This is R. This is R. For this I am choosing this triangle. Look at the triangle. In this triangle, gamma is exterior angle. So, gamma will be sum of this R, this angle R, angle of refraction and beta. So, I am ready with the angle relations. Let us look at the diagram once more. We have made convex surface like this. This side it is glass and this side it is air. This is principal axis. We can make a big diagram. So, O is object's ray okay, and then it is image and center of curvature is here that is called normal, normal ray. So, you can make a ray. This is center of curvature. Order is OCI. This is mu glass. This is mu air. This is mu 1 which is 1. This is mu 2. Okay. Now, the ang this angle that is denoted by green color. Diagram is very important. This is angle of incidence. Angle between O and C ray. I and C ray is angle of refraction. Drop a perpendicular. Give it name M. This point is P. O, o angle is alpha. I angle is beta. C angle is gamma within the triangle. Gamma. Make R this way in the way I am drawing. This is R. Okay, now you have to obtain the relationship between angle of incidence. Just a minute. Yes. So, I is this angle I. This angle I is exterior angle of this triangle. This triangle. Okay, so angle I is equal to alpha plus gamma. Similarly, here you see gamma is exterior angle of this triangle. So gamma is sum of interior opposite angles that is R plus beta. So you will have to draw ray diagram very carefully and establish relationship of I and R. I need R. So R is gamma minus beta. Then you have to take a pause after obtaining this relation. Okay. So now I will write I and R once again. So this is I and this is R. Just keep it in mind. Now using Snell's law we have sin I by sin R is equal to mu 2 where you are going to mu 1 where are you coming from medium 1. So it's not medium 1, medium 2 but where are you going and where are you coming from it's like that. Now for smaller angles, for small angles we have sin theta is approximately theta. So here I will write I. And here I will write R. Sin I would be I and sin R would be R. And this is equal to mu2 by mu1. Now we will cross multiply. So that will be I into mu1 and it will be R into mu2. 
here we will substitute the value of i and r let me bring so i have brought the values of i which i obtained and r let us substitute it's alpha plus gamma into mu1 is equal to gamma minus beta into mu2 okay now again we will use something which is for small angles again tangent theta is also theta okay approximately so this is my theta so i will write it as tangent alpha next i will write tangent gamma then i will write mu1 is equal to gamma i will write tangent gamma minus tangent beta then mu2 so this is tangent alpha tangent gamma tangent gamma tangent beta mu2 these things i have written now i'll take help of this ray diagram once again so we will take help of this diagram let us see what is tangent alpha tangent alpha is perpendicular perpendicular this point is n and m perpendicular is nm by base alpha is at o so it is o to m o m perpendicular by base now tangent gamma perpendicular would be same because there is only one perpendicular and gamma is here so this is base mc into mu1 is equal to similarly perpendicular by base perpendicular is same theek hai gamma ka base we have just written mc and then perpendicular is same base of tangent beta this m to i m i and then it is mu 2 theek hai then you can see up to here in this equation nm 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 is common that will be cancelled from both the side so what are what are we left with 1 by om plus 1 by mc into mu 1 is equal to 1 by mc minus 1 by mi into mu2 now you will see practically m and p are very close say m and p are very close just write this and replace m by p wherever you see m replace it by p in the expression so let us write these m by p so let us write our equation 1 by op plus 1 by pc or cp this is mu1 is equal to 1 by pc minus 1 by pi is equal to mu2 now you can see what is op distance of object from pole which is always minus u distance of object distance of pole from center of curvature is radius of curvature and because it is lying this side this time center of curvature is always lying this side no so it's positive now similarly pc is plus r and coming to this this is your distance of pole from image it will be v because it is lying this side so this is positive axis by sign convention so it will be positive v okay yeah, this is important we have already done these rules in class 8 tenth the object side is negative side hai na surface was this c was lying this side this is positive axis so pc is positive and moreover if it was lying here so it is positive so let us substitute 1 by minus u plus 1 by r into mu1 is equal to 1 by r 
माइनस वन बाय वी इन टू म्यू टू सो लेट एस मल्टीप्लाई विद म्यू वन म्यू वन बाय यू प्लस म्यू वन बाय आर इज इक्वल टू म्यू टू बाय आर डोंट राइट ब्रैकेट माइनस म्यू टू बाय वी नाउ ब्रिंग दैट म्यू टू बाय वी दिस साइड तो दैट विल बी पॉजिटिव म्यू टू बाय वी माइनस म्यू वन बाय यू एज इट इज दिस क्वान्टिटी एज इट इज इट विल गो दिस साइड इट इज इक्वल टू म्यू टू बाय आर एंड दिस क्वान्टिटी इज गोइंग दैट साइड सो इट्स म्यू म्यू वन बाय आर this is very important formula 1 by r can be taken common so it is mu2 minus mu1 this is your formula for refraction at convex surface for rarer to denser and for real image how can we learn it this is image distance and this is objects distance this is glass refractive index this is surroundings refractive index glass refractive index surrounding refractive index very very important formula now let us look at the next case like this we have six cases case 2 formula for refraction formula for refraction at convex surface for rarer to denser for virtual image convex surface rarer to denser virtual image so we will make convex lens this is rarer to denser so this is your surface and virtual image is formed on same side as that of object virtual image is formed on same side just remember this and what is the order from rarer to denser hmm it is i o c this is the order so the order is i o c so let us see we will make a proper ray diagram so let us start with this rarer to denser so here will be glass air mu1 1 mu2 mu g principal axis and i o c rarer to denser virtual image yes so i o and where is c where the circle will be completed theek hai c is here so we will take objects ray as this theek okay? hai and this is your image ray so image wala ray is like this dotted but it has to be straight here you can make it dark so this is it theek okay? hai and this is c wala ray c wala ray is okay but this is normal So yeah, you have to make it absolutely straight. So you'll have to dark this portion, object valor ray and image valor ray, because it is virtually produced back. So it is virtual image, right? Virtual image is formed on the same side. Now let us label the different angles. So let us label. This is O angle is alpha, I angle is beta, C angle is gamma. 
this is perpendicular this is m this is p <clears throat> now we have o and c o this brown and c this angle is angle of incidence and i and c is angle of refraction now let us see which are the triangles that we will make So let us see the angles, angle relation. So this is exterior angle of this triangle, you can see. So I is alpha plus gamma. And R is, look here, this is exterior angle. But mind it, this is image wali ray. This image ray belongs to this I. So this is the triangle. This triangle. This triangle. So R is beta plus gamma. So R is beta plus gamma. Ready with the relation. Now we will use Snell's law. Sin I. Same steps. By sin R is equal to mu2 by mu1 now for smaller angles what do we know for smaller angles sin theta is theta so we can write here i by r is equal to mu2 by mu1 cross multiplying i into mu1 is equal to r into mu2 let us substitute the values so you can see values i is alpha plus gamma okay and it is beta plus gamma so i know both the values let us see one alpha plus gamma beta plus gamma so let us substitute this is alpha plus gamma alpha plus gamma into mu1 is equal to beta plus gamma confirm once beta plus gamma so it is beta plus gamma into mu2 now for smaller angles tangent theta is theta so i am going to replace these all by tangent alpha tangent alpha plus tangent gamma same steps are there Achha, this mu1 is left I have to write this mu1 is equal to tangent beta plus tangent gamma into mu2 now see perpendicular is same so we don't like now we know, so perpendicular at least you write. See, and it will always be object, alpha is object from angle, object from M. Okay, this is perpendicular is same. And this is C wala angle, you know. So C from M. Otherwise, you can see from the diagram. This is perpendicular will be same. And this is image wala angle. So I from M. And this is perpendicular is same. This is gamma again. C from M. And this is mu2. Now we will use. Nm will be cancelled. Okay. Now we will say M and P are close. Same what we have done. M and P are very close. You can draw a diagram in your notebook. And you can see. So this is P. M will be replaced by P. So it is OP plus CP into mu1. So this is IP plus PC into mu2. Now you have to remember from the diagram that image is also lying this side. Yes, image is lying this side. So, IP will be minus V, negative side. 
object distance is already negative and this thing is positive c is positive okay so it means you just write down op object distance is minus u center of curvature is positive because it is like that side and ip is also minus v just substitute peacefully and do the cross multiplication So let us substitute 1 by minus u, 1 by r mu 1 and it is equal to 1 by minus v plus 1 by r into mu 2. So it's mu 1 upon u minus plus mu 1 upon r is equal to mu 2 by minus v plus mu 2 by r. Yes, simply bring it this side and take it this side. So, again result is same. Mu 2 by v minus mu 1 by u is equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 by r. So, yes, for rarer to denser, there is only one formula for refraction. But then which case will come in exam, you will have to derive accordingly. Diagram must belong to that case and then all the steps. Result is same, that is another thing. But result should come naturally. So, coming to the third case. So, let us see the next case. Case number 3. Formula for refraction at convex surface when ray goes from denser to rarer. And image is virtual. So, yeah, image is virtual. So, again, we have to remember the rule that virtual image is formed on the same site. Virtual image is formed on same site. Okay, this is as that of object on the same size as that of object on same side as that of object denser to rarer so we will make a rough convex lens this is rarer denser rarer so this kind of surface we will hit against so this is the surface you are trying to go out of the glass So, you make kindly proper line. Okay, if you wish, you can make it complete as well. Okay, in some diagram they show, but I don't draw. So, you also don't draw. Let's see. So, it is denser to rarer. Virtual. So, order is COI. Okay. So, center will be completed. This way, circle will be completed. This is a C an object and on the same side there will be image so we will see this is objects ray now this is your normal okay and image is this side only we can choose some other color This is image. Here it should be dotted and there it should be dark. So arrow should be put here on objects and image this side. So this is your ray diagram. 
and this is your image. Now you will drop a perpendicular that will be M. This point is P. M and P are very close. Now let us label the angles. C, C angle is gamma. O angle is alpha. Image angle is beta. So you can see these angles properly. Now let us label angle of incidence is between O ray and C ray. So this is my angle of incidence. And angle of reflection is between image ray and the C ray. Image original ray. This is this angle of refraction. Okay, so find out purple, violet, and this. This is R. Vertical opposite angle. So now we got to write the relationship. Let us see what is the relation. So alpha is. Let me highlight the triangle. This is the triangle. Is the exterior angle. This alpha is exterior angle. So it is sum of interior opposite. One interior opposite is I. And other interior opposite is gamma. Similarly write for this. Let me highlight the triangle. This one. Beta is the exterior angle of R. And come to this side. Gamma. Okay, so what is the triangle that I am talking about? This, and this, and this, this triangle. Okay, so beta is sum of gamma and r. So my r is ready as beta minus gamma. You just confirm your angles properly after drawing the tray diagram. Now, see this is glass. You are going, do, going from denser to rarer. So this is glass, this is medium 2, this is medium 1, okay? this is air though. So we are ready with I, I is coming as alpha minus gamma and R is coming as beta minus gamma. So we are ready with I and R. So let's use Snell's law. Just keep in mind. This this time sin i by sin r would be equal to where are you going? We are going to air. So mu 1 up, mu 2 down. Okay. Then for smaller angles, what do we have for smaller angles? For smaller angles, sin theta is theta. So sin i is i and sin r is r let us substitute let us substitute here i by r is i mu 1 by mu 2 just keep in mind we are going to mu 1 from mu 2 okay so cross multiplication mu 2 i 1 mu 1 R. Let us substitute I and R. I is alpha minus gamma. R is beta minus gamma. So I is alpha minus gamma. So everything depends upon your ray diagram and how wisely you are picking the angles. It is beta minus gamma. Okay, again for smaller angles, for small angles, what do we have from for small angles? Tangent theta is approximately equal to theta so we'll substitute okay so let us substitute this is mu 2 this is tangent alpha minus 10 gamma is equal to mu 1 10 beta minus 10 gamma and now now you know that perpendicular is same. Okay, this is third derivation we are doing. So at least we can write nm perpendicular and here as well perpendicular and perpendicular. Now base. Let us talk about base. 
एम इज ऑल्सो फिक्सड है ना बिकॉज द फुट ऑफ पपिंडिकुलर इज एम नाउ लुक यर दिस इज अल्फा इज एंगल ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट गामा इज एंगल ऑफ सी बीटा इज एंगल ऑफ इमेज गामा इज एंगल ऑफ सी ओके अदरवाइज इफ यू विश यू कैन गो टू द ट्राइंगल एंड सी टेंजेंट एल्फा टेंजेंट गामा दिस इज गामा पपेंडिकुलर इज एन एम एंड बेस इज एम सी टेंजेंट एल्फा पपेंडिकुलर इज एन एम बेस इज एम ओ फॉर एल्फा इट इज एम ओ बेस इज एम ओ देन यू विल से एम एंड पी आर वेरी क्लोज एम एंड पी आर वेरी क्लोज कम ऑन एन एम इज कैंसल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल येस एंड लेट एस रिप्लेस एम बाई P, so N M is cancelled, and we are replacing M by P. So it is mu two, one by P O, one by P C. It is mu one, one by P I, and one by P C. Now, children, you know in the ray diagram, you all have seen that it was denser to rarer. It was C O I. Okay. C O I. So everything is lying this side. So all three are negative. यानी कि P O object distance from P is minus U. Image distance from P is minus V. And C distance from P is minus R. Just substitute these three in the equation, and let us see. Let us substitute mu two is one by minus U minus minus R mu one. This is minus V minus minus R. Open it. This is minus minus plus. So it is mu two by minus u mu. This is plus mu two by r. It is mu one minus v plus mu one by r. Now bring it this side. So it is mu one by v. Minus mu two by u. This will go that side. It's mu one by r minus mu two by r. So just observe for denser to rarer, we have got the formula little different. You know, it is mu one minus mu two by r is equal to mu1 by v and mu2 by u so for denser to rarer this is the formula this is different from rarer to denser in that mu2 by v comes here it is mu1 by v so prepare very properly let us see for the next case so this is the next case last case of convex convex surface denser to rarer images real so real image is formed on the other side first thing is on other side then we should know the order of oci yes so that i have already told you so let us see how we will make the diagram okay first of all we should draw a small convex lens and we should check so yeah it is rarer to denser denser to rarer so this is the surface that we are going to hit against so you are go trying to go from glass to air glass mu2 mu g mu air mu 1 it is also 1 this is your principal axis all the line should be straight in your diagram 
so OCI. Now, circle will be completed this side. So C is here, O is here, but I is here. Take care. So this is your O. Now your I. And this is your C. C can be a little shifted. We are trying to shift. Let it be. This is C. Okay, or you can take little tilted. No problem. This can also be considered. There is no problem though. But let it be C. Okay, let us draw this diagram once again. This is your surface and you are trying to go from denser to rarer. So, O, C will be this side only. O, C and this is I. Make a proper ray diagram. Put arrow on O and I. O and I should have. This is normal. M, P, rest of the labeling. Object ray, object angle, alpha. C is gamma. I is beta. Now O and C, O and C is angle of incidence and I and C is angle of refraction. Yes, now we will write down the relation. So you can see, gamma is exterior angle of this triangle, this triangle. So gamma is I plus alpha. Actually, the diagram should be drawn by you and then you check if you are getting the angle relations as what I have received. If it is not coming, then you have to do a lot of practice on ray diagrams. So, let us see for R. R is exterior angle of this triangle. So, R is basically equal to gamma plus beta. Yeah. So, I is radius. Gamma minus alpha and this is gamma plus beta. So, I am ready with the angle relation. I will tell you what is to be done. You just write the case. Try to draw the ray diagram on your own without taking any help and then match with the angle relation. If angle relation is okay, you are likely to derive the correct expression. Okay. Then it is like again the same thing I would not do. Sin I by sin R. Where are you going? Air. Where are you coming from? Glass. This is how it will go on. Okay. Then object distance is minus U. PC is minus R. But PI this time is plus V. Because of that side in the direction of incident rate. That is sign convention. So these are. Okay. So. This was a case of denser to rarer. So, result would be what you got in previous one. That is mu1 by v minus mu2 by u is equal to mu1 minus mu2 by r. It is denser to rarer. Now, we have next topic for concave surface. Okay, the same heading would be written. Let us see. Formula for refraction. Formula for refraction at concave surface. Okay. For rarer to denser. We don't need to write that image formed is virtual because image formed is always virtual. It does not form real image. So, there is no point of real image. Okay. 
so it is rarer to denser it should be clear that concave always forms concave lens you can say always forms virtual image so what is special about virtual image it is formed on same side virtual image is formed on same side as that of object okay so it is rarer to denser and image will be on same side two rules we will keep in mind and we know the order yes so let us see concave rough work we will do this is concave you are trying to go from rarer to denser so you will hit against this so let us do principal axis o o objects se i dotted and here it should be dark so i have not like i could not draw it very properly but you with pen and pencil can and then c c will be the side wherever circle is getting completed please be very particular so this would be your c we would draw it once more that can be corrected though there but let us see it once more we are trying to go from rare to denser this is your principal axis o stop i is like this look here everyone this is i should be straight there should not be a bending so o i see this is i and now for c c is this now it is okay now we will label all the angles alpha beta gamma drop a perpendicular this is m this is p okay and then i need o and c theek hai o and c wala angle is angle of incidence o and c wala angle so this is your angle of incidence then a bit pink this is i and i and c wala angle on the other side this is r ठीक है डू वर्टिकल अपोजिट दिस इज आर है ना ब्लू एंड ब्लैक सो दिस इज योर ब्लू एंड ब्लैक दिस इज योर आर ओके चिल्ड्रन दिस इज आई एंड दिस इज दिस मच इज आर ओके लेट इज राइट ऑन द रिलेशनशिप नाउ सो लेट इज राइट डाउन द एंगल रिलेशन यू ऑल कैन ट्राई and then confirm dekho bhaiya this gamma is exterior angle theek hai of this triangle this and this i so this is a triangle this triangle so gamma is exterior angle so it is alpha plus i gamma is also exterior angle of this triangle this blue wala triangle this so gamma is also r plus 
बीटा यू कैन सी दिस ब्लू रे सो आई एम रेडी विद आई आई इज गामा माइनस अल्फा यस एंड आर इज गामा माइनस बीटा गामा माइनस बीटा नाउ नाउ लेट एस डू अदर थिंग्स यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम रेरर टू डेंसर रेर इज एयर एयर इज म्यू वन यू आर गोइंग टू म्यू टू विच इज म्यू ग्लास सो यूर लॉ विल बी साइन आई बाई साइन आर इज इक्वल टू म्यू टू बाय म्यू वन ओके सो यू स्नेल्स लॉ एंड डू द टॉपिक आई एन आर इज विद यू नाउ ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस विल बी नेगेटिव इमेज डिस्टेंस वुड बी माइनस वी एंड सी डिस्टेंस विल बी पी सी विल बी माइनस आर it is a case of rarer to denser so your result should match with rarer to denser that you have got which is mu2 by v minus mu1 by u is equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r try let us look at the case number 6 that is second case of concave denser to rarer again we don't need to tell that image is virtual because it always forms virtual image so it forms virtual image what is special about virtual image it is on same side of object on same side we know the arrangement of words right concave we will make Denser to rarer, so we'll hit against this this surface. So let us make this surface. So you're trying to go out from glass. So this is glass. This is air. This is denser. This is rarer. This is mu g. This is mu a. This is mu two. This is mu one. So, coming to the principal axis. Now see, circle will be completed this side. So your C is that side. Just remember, but O and I are this side. So this is O. This is my O. It need not be produced that side. Coming to I. This is I. it should be dotted because it is virtual image theek hai and this is c c will be where the circle get can gets completed so it's o i c rest of the things you know this is alpha this is beta c wala angle is gamma this is perpendicular this is m this is pole and this is n if you wish then coming to angles labeling of angles o and c o is this c is this so o and c is i and c and i c and i is r and always that side okay the other side so now let us see what is the angle relation very carefully so what are the angle relation you can see i is exterior angle of this triangle this triangle so alpha plus gamma so i is equal to alpha plus gamma similarly r is exterior angle this 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 line and this line this line yani ki one angle is beta and this line is gamma so r is beta plus gamma that's all angle relation is important so sin i by sin r is equal to where are you going mu r 
सो बी वेरी क्लियर दैट साइन आई बाय साइन आर वुड बी वेर आर यू गोइंग टू वेर आर यू कमिंग फ्रॉम देन फॉर स्मॉलर एंगल्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस माइनस यू इमेज डिस्टेंस माइनस वी बट रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर आर एंड द रिजल्ट शुड like it is denser to rarer okay so the result should match with denser to rarer so what is the result please memorize it's mu1 by v minus mu2 by u is equal to mu1 minus mu2 by r so these are all six cases most important thing is ray diagram kindly practice these properly okay children so at last i would like to show you the diagram i mean diagrams can be drawn this way as well if you wish to complete the circle and then th this type of diagram requires a lot of practice so if you wish you can draw like this now what would you say what it is for look this is for convex surface we can give it a caption this is formula for refraction at convex surface okay we can look at the diagram and we can give it the caption image is formed here so for real image any convex lens is like this so you are entering rarer to denser this is formula for refraction at convex surface when you are going from rarer to denser and image is real because word is you can see the order o c i but then what we have been drawing is also correct and we can draw that way just do a lot of practice of angles you can see here it is alpha c wala angle we take as gamma i wala angle we take at beta and this is angle of incidence between o and c and this is angle of between image ray and c ray is angle of refraction okay so if you wish you can draw like this my lines were not straight but do a lot of practice and yeah just prepare properly thank you